Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. You know what? You know what? It's so funny because I'm from New York, right? And it's always hilarious to me where people, and Salim is in here, a few other people I think is from New York in this crowd. It's hilarious to me how people from New York, who not from New York, know all about the culture of New York. They act like as if no, New York is the same as California or any other part of the, of the area. Because it's, it's this whole controversy now about hip hop, right? And they're saying that hip hop was just an exclusively black thing and black folks created it and nobody, everybody else came across like after the fact. Bullshit. Absolute unadulterated bullshit. And I was there from the very beginning. Blacks and Puerto Ricans came up with hip hop. Now we can argue yeah. over the percentages of it. Yeah, there were more blacks than, than Puerto Ricans, yeah, percentage-wise. But Puerto Ricans were there in the very fucking beginning. And I'm as black oh, yeah. as you can get. I'm oh, as black yeah. as you can get, and I can admit that. People, because people, people, like I said, people act like black Americans, uh, African Americans, and Puerto Ricans weren't living in the same neighborhood. We literally lived in the same neighborhoods. Puerto Ricans were some of the staunchest. Exactly. Of liberation. <laughs> like, I don't know this idea where it was exclusively African Americans when African Americans Puerto Ricans, uh, Jamaicans was all up in there. Being, uh, I'm in New York. Influence. In New York City, blacks and Puerto Ricans live in the same fucking projects. And guess that's, 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 Now that's not to say, now let's not be, I'm not trying to um, um, blurry things. That's not, because I believe everybody can point to instances where you have Puerto Ricans that don't like um, African American. I'm not getting into all of that. What and I'm saying thing, is, and here's, the, here's the thing that's important. And let's talk about that thing for. But wait, wait. Before finish. before you go, let me just finish this point. What I'm trying to say is, don't don't get on this blackity black stuff so much that it clouds you from the truth. The truth of the matter is that Puerto Ricans were there in the beginning in hip hop. It wasn't just black folks that created it. That is a lie. That is nonsense, and that's bull. And you don't. And it doesn't um take away from your blackness to admit the truth. And you know what? And you know what's um, holla? What's even in, in the point you're saying when they said African Americans, and Puerto Ricans? Puerto Rico is a territory. There are black right. Puerto Ricans. There are white Puerto Ricans. There are mixed race Puerto Ricans. I don't Puerto speak Rico. Spanish, but doesn't Puerto Rico mean Puerto Riches? Yep, it's Spanish. It's yeah, that's Puerto Rico. It's a Spanish term. Yes. And so, why are people when they say, "Oh, well, Puerto Ricans"? Puerto Ricans are not a race. They are a nationality. <laughs> Well, not well. Many Puerto Ricans see themselves as an independent nation, but Puerto Ricans the, is Puerto Rico is a territory. Puerto Ricans are people from Puerto Rico. There are Black Puerto Ricans. There are White Puerto Ricans. There are mixed race Puerto Ricans. So even when you say African Americans and Puerto Ricans, there could have been Afro Puerto Ricans. Exactly. So what what are people talking about here? But you see how all of this is distracting from, like, we get into these stupid ass conversations. And what are we not touching on by engaging in this nonsense? Land, infrastructure, and nationhood. Notice that? Now we into the, and that's why the purpose of that, that show that we did the previous time, that, you know, the, the um, gatekeepers of blackness. Now this is what we're discussing? This is what we're concentrating on? Those Ados New Yorkers are full of crap. And if you want to, if you want to get them on the same chat with me, I will eat their ass up. They're lying. There's no way anybody that was born in New York can make that statement. And nobody says Puerto Ricans invented hip hop. They said we said that Puerto Ricans and blacks, young black um blacks and Puerto Ricans invented hip hop. Older Puerto Ricans wasn't fucking with it, and older black people wasn't fucking with it. You know, you know what it's that they like to take credit for everything, but when you call them out, they don't want they 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 don't want to take claim for it. 
Notice that, right? They'll say, oh, we invented this. And I was like, no, because they black folks from Mississippi did. Because notice what y'all do. Y'all notice, again, notice what FBA will do when it comes to Caribbeans and Africans, right? They'll say Nigerians. Notice they don't specifically tie them to their ethnic group. Notice when you call out Nigerians or Kenyans or Ghanaians, you never refer to them by their ethnic groups. Notice they do an utter, utter contradiction. They say African Americans are our own ethnic groups, but then we'll call Nigerians, Cape Verdeans, uh, Senegalese people by their nationalities. They won't me- say Airways invented this, Tweez invented this, or well, Tweez a language, but Airways or Ethics or Yorubas or Igbos or Ijaz. They don't use ethnic groups when it comes to African immigrants. They will sum them up by nationality. And let oh, me just hold on, say wait this. a minute. Though. Okay, go ahead. Let me just say this. Let's think about this logically. If you're a Ku- if you're a KKK member, right, or you're with the Klan, or you're a white supremacist, or you're in the, the whatever group you want to use, wouldn't Cephalo Projects be a weird place to raise your family? <clears throat> just logically, if there was this rift between Puerto Ricans and Blacks, it was so pro- they, they, they would call us jungle bunnies and all this other stuff. Why would you be in the same freaking projects, living and going to the same parties, con- congregating, fucking each other, all the, all that you do in the projects, if you hated Black people? And also, why would Puerto Ricans be advocates for this Black Panthers and other Black nationalist groups if they really wasn't about with them? Again, based on what? Like I said, everybody wants to be blackity black that you just you just pretending that facts don't exist. And also, holla, let's uh, flames. Let's ask a simple question. You said versus Ados New Yorkers. Okay, how old were these? How old are these Ados New Yorkers? Thank you. Thank you. How old are they? If they're born in the 1980s, I don't want to hear nothing from them. If they were right. born in the 1990s, I don't want to hear nothing from them. How old are they? You I mean, if y'all want to get some people, you want to get some people on here that's from um, the, the time that hip hop started, I can get them on the line and we could just have a conversation. And you get these Eidos people who claim that Puerto Ricans didn't have nothing to do with the development of hip hop. Are you? It, that argument is so fucking dis- stupid that it's not even worth arguing about. It's well, not really point, even worth arguing point, about. Point, hold on, let me let me let me debate this point. He says, "Let's assume Ados New Yorkers lying. Excluding Puerto is a display and acquisition of power. No, it ain't. No, it's not. It's lying. Exactly. That's not a thing of, of power. That that's not excluding them is not a form of power. Okay. So unless I Black lie, people, I'm a. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Black people. Let let let's apply this to the U.S. government. Black people were integral." To the in the in the formation of the FBI, does that mean that us black people being in the FBI is some sort of power because we were included in the FBI and we were surveillancing other black groups? That's a form of power. I'm gonna put that on. Oh, I'm glad you put it on the screen because I, I want you to look at this. Let's assume the Ados New Yorkers are lying. Excluding Puerto Ricans is a display and acquisition of power. No, it's fucking not. It's lying. And, and a person that lies has no integrity. Because I can, I can, I can, I can, hold on. I can acknowledge oh. the truth. And at the same time, it does not stop me from pushing for land infrastructure nationhood. It does not um, weaken my blackness. Let me just say this real quick. First off, I grew up in New York. I am 51 years old. Okay. I am nice as hell in graffiti. And you know who taught me graffiti? It's Puerto Ricans. Yep. It wasn't nobody black. And anybody from New York will testify that if you wanted to get nice in graffiti, you had to go to the Puerto Ricans. Yep. They were teaching graffiti, okay? And graffiti is a part of hip hop. So if you are nice in graffiti, and you can go to my Facebook page, I got a couple of pictures up, but nevertheless, I am still good at 51 in graffiti. I learned that, what, 16, 17 years old from a dude named Angel Lopez. And mm. they were fully entrenched, and, and they wasn't calling it Jungle Bunny music. The fuck are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> that would be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that would be like us getting around Puerto Ricans and calling them spicks. If you called, holla, what would happen to you if you called the Puerto Rican a spick back in the day? <laughs> I hope my laughter is the answer. Yeah, you, you'd be in serious trouble. So it, it's the same thing. If we couldn't call them spicks, you think we was allowing them to call us jungle bunnies? So we was around these Puerto Ricans who 
for all intents and purposes, I'm from Coney Island, which has a huge Puerto yep. Rican population. Okay. Yep. And I remember who did I used to battle and break dancing? Because I used to break dance. I had the hang, the hang glide, the hand glide, the head spin, and the windmill. And who did we used to battle? We had to battle Puerto Ricans. Because they dominated so that. Exactly. There were certain areas that we dominated. There were certain areas that they dominated. Now, they couldn't fuck with us when it came to rapping or whatever. Right. But, but a couple of them tried. But then yep. they had that breakdancing thing, and nobody could stop them in that shit. You know and what I'm saying? they were also the, DJs. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't look at, when you lived in New York, you didn't look at as a Puerto Rican as somebody foreign. You looked at him as one of your brothers. You know what I'm saying? And so therefore, you know, when you was in the hip hop culture, when you was in any culture, such as the breakdancing culture, the rapping, I mean, bro, talent shows at high school, Puerto Ricans were involved mm -hmm. in that junior high school. And yep. you're going to say that, th to me, the whole assertion that we was creating hip hop and Puerto Ricans just looked the other way. What the fuck <laughs> are they doing? You know what I'm saying? And, like, uh, and that can doing? only be made, son, by somebody who don't know shit about New York. Exactly. You can't compare to the status right here. Legendary worldwide. We can battle right here. Listen, Junior, I'ma tear back and win. This ain't TV, but I'll show you what a fear factor is. Stop grilling me. And all that fronting is killing me. You leave me no choice but to hurt your feelings, G. About to slap rappers around to prove the game. What? What?